Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelizera. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Forsaken by everyone. Abandoned by friends and loved ones. Because they are tired. Because they felt tired. Or they have an excuse to let you suffer alone. <laughs> this is the situation of somebody. Your, your situation was just like that of the woman with the issue of blood. As I hear this word, the Lord said for you, congratulations. The next thing that I heard is the woman with the issue of blood. I'm like, okay, this is where we are heading to. This is where we are going. Just like that. It is not the situation of the woman of issue of blood that, oh, maybe you are bleeding, all of that. No. But the situation is that the people who were supposed to support you or who were even support you, they got tired and they left you alone. They just left you alone like that. They just left you, left you alone like that, like, mm, we are done with you. But hear me very well, child of God. That situation that men look at and they look at you, they are like, ah, they are done. They are not sure they can help you anymore. They are because they are not sure that you can be delivered from it. They are not sure that you can be free from it. They are not sure that you can come out from it. God said for you, congratulations. You have been delivered from that problem. That men thought that they were not sure that you will ever be delivered from. That men thought that you will, that situation that they thought that you will never be free from. Child of God. You have been delivered from that affliction. The Bible says in the book of Nehum, it said, What do ye imagine against the Lord? I will put an altar in. Affliction will not rise up the second time. Hallelujah. Child of God, hear me very well in your life. Affliction will not rise up the second time. The Bible says, The woman with the issue of blood, she pressed forward. She did not even consider the fact that she was smelling. She did not consider the fact that, oh, people have left her. She did not consider the fact that what if Jesus did not want to see somebody like her? The Bible said the crowd, the cloud, is it crowd? The crowd begins to give way. The Bible says she pressed forward. She pressed forward. You have been pressing forward. You have been pressing forward. Don't think that you will not be able to touch Jesus. Don't think that Jesus will not be able to touch you. Don't think that Jesus will look at you and say, Oh, because people did not help you, he is not going to help you. No, God is helping you. For you, child of God, congratulations. You have been delivered from that situation that was meant to kill you. For you, child of God, congratulations. You have been set free from that affliction that was meant to destroy you. For you, child of God, congratulations. You have been set free from that affliction that came to took your life. Child of God, for you, congratulations. You have been delivered from that delay, whatever it is, because you have touched the hem of his garment. That God that deliver have delivered you. Go and celebrate. I congratulate you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.